all right guys what's going on we uh we are on the highway heading north of home not too far from home about 30 minutes away is where we're going i don't have an address i've just got a gps coordinate to go to what it is is we're going to pick up a car that a buddy of mine has uh graciously donated to the channel i do have to finish the zj and also i have the f100 and crown vic mashup that i'm going to be doing after the zj now the zj videos just really have not been doing well at all for the channel but it's something that i really want to do it's something that i've always wanted as far as an off-road vehicle is concerned is you know a v8 buggy on tons is what i said to begin with but um it's not quite a buggy yet but it does have a v8 and it will be on tons so from here on out with those videos i'm just going to be doing like a weekly update video on it because it really i mean it's not worth the amount of effort that i put into setting up shots and making sure i you know get good footage make sure the audio is good and then all the time it takes to, to edit the videos just for it to you know have hardly any views at all i mean it's gotten to the point now where with that project if i get a hundred views on a video i, I feel good <laughs> so that's how bad off it is but um anyway uh we're going to start moving forward and getting the channel back on track to where we began um, we began the channel with the 65 mustang project and it seemed to be doing really well and as soon as i announced that zj project buddy my view count fell off to nothing and i'm trying to build a channel here i'm trying not to take things too seriously but at the same time i mean you always want to challenge yourself to do better so uh, that's what i'm trying to do and and if the zj content is not what people want to see then hey i get it i need to put some stuff out there that everybody else is going to want to see and i believe this car that we're going to pick up today is uh they're a really popular car um it's an older model car though but i mean they're a really popular car um you guys are going to see the car for the first time at the same time i see the car for the first time because all i've seen is one picture of the car so i really don't know what i'm getting myself into when he sent pictures to me at uh, or the picture to me say that uh windshield is gone the back glass is gone the bumpers are gone the hood is gone tail lights are gone it looks like it was missing a lot of parts in the photo so anyway i've run my mouth for long enough let's enjoy the ride guys we are almost there and i just realized i really have no idea what i'm getting into because i don't know the terrain i've never seen this lot i've never seen anything so i don't know if the car is going to be easy to get to i don't know if we're going into a muddy mess who knows uh, let's just hope it goes smoothly and uh without too much drama I think I see it.
Yep, that's it. Your destination is on the right. On the right, but the car is on the wheel. Oh no. Uh, well, I might see if I can back this thing up in there. Well, let's just hope nobody comes along and needs to get by. Uh, let's take a look at it. Yep, this is exactly how it was in the picture. Well, no, it had front fenders on it. I hope he's got those. Um, oh, there's one. Uh, I wonder if the other one's laying around here somewhere some kind of forward motor looks like a Windsor might be a 351 oh boy oh no 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 all right well real good the little sail panels are there so need to find a fender and we need to find a hood. But anyway, what we need to do first is just get this thing on the trailer. So let's do that. Tell you what, I think I can cut it just a little bit sharper. So let's try that. Let's see if that made it any better or worse. Probably made it worse. I don't know. We'll see. challenged me a little bit but we got her loaded up tied down and uh ready to rock and roll down the highway so let's get busy going home guys we got the car home in one piece or uh, well you know what I mean it's here it's in the same condition as when I bought it uh, let's go over what we got here this is basically a gutted 1980 Ford Mustang this car was originally 
an inline six car from the factory, 200 straight six with an automatic transmission. As you can see, that's been pulled. It's got some type of coilovers on it. I can't see a brand name on them, but it looks like the this lower coil is just completely collapsed. It does have Maximum Motorsports caster camber plates, so that's nice. And it looks like John was starting to put some some kind of uh, sound deadening on it. He did strip out all of the sound deadening in the interior, which is which is awesome because I don't have to do that now. Yay! And just a regular stock shock on a seven and a half inch rear axle. I think it's got a lowering coil in the back. I can't see in there. Maybe you guys can see. Anyway, I don't know what brand they are. So, there's my dad. Eh. And like you saw in a previous clip, we've got one fender. And that's it. I asked John about it, and he said that uh, what had happened was he took this car to a body shop to have it painted. And he said that he told the guy that he wasn't in no hurry to just get it done when he could. And a year and a half later, he went and got the car because nothing was getting done to it. And all he got in return was a bunch of missing parts. So, so anyway, John told me that the uh, best advice he could give me was if you ever take a car to a body shop, don't tell them you ain't no hurry. <laughs> so I'll pass that piece of information on to you guys. So after he went and got the car back from the body shop, it sat on a piece of property that his dad owns, but wound up being that his dad wound up selling the property. So he had to get the car off of there. And he didn't have any extra room to store it. He knows I do the YouTube channel. He knows that I'd probably do something with the car. So, so I'm sure that whenever he called, it was gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. So, cause at first he asked me, did, did I know of anybody that would be interested in it? And I said, I know a few Fox body guys because I mean, me personally, I mean, I really can't afford to do anything else right now because I am knee deep with that ZJ project. And he said, well, if you're interested in it, I'll just give it to you. And I said, all right, I'll be there. <laughs> so so uh, here she is. Um, my vision for this car is a budget drag car, kind of like a 50 Tusson type build. You know, just a stock block T5, good heads, good carburetor, good intake, deep gears. So uh, I think it'd be fun. Um, that's probably what I'll wind up doing with it. But first, the F100's coming next. Ruby will be going away and I'm sure it's gonna upset some people because I finally did make up my mind on it. I am going to take the body off put this chassis under the F100 and make a nice cruiser out of it. Um, yeah, Ruby is a pretty solid straight car, but it's, it just doesn't make financial sense to me to sell this one and find another one, not knowing what the transmission or engine is gonna be like when I already know what I've got with this one. I've got a good engine, a great transmission, a good 8.8 .8 rear end with a 355 limited slip in it. So, I mean, I've already got new tires on it and everything. So, I mean, I'm going to use those wheels and tires on the F100. I think it'd be kind of, kind of classy. <laughs> but anyway, um, what I've got to do between this and now is I've got to do the hardest thing that I think I can possibly do. And that is put a car cover over it and just forget about it because this car has already been in my head of, you know, cause you know what it's like when you get a new project car, you're all like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. And then you start to neglect your other projects. Well, I can't let that happen. The ZJ the needs done me. by June, early June, because there's a big off-roading event coming up. And I don't want to rush the project and kind of half-ass it, but I mean, at the same time, I've been kind of lazy, but, um, we've got plan B right here if I don't get the ZJ done. So we're going on the trip no matter what. Just what we'll be taking. I'm hoping it'll be the ZJ.
but anyway again i'm running my mouth again here it is it's home she ain't much to look at anyway let's take one more look inside here the dash dash is all busted up it's really not in good shape glove box door is missing the instrument panel bezel is missing dash pads missing so i mean this car would nickel and dime me to death if i was to try to restore it but i'm really not a restoration kind of guy anyway so i'm just going to slap this thing together and make it light as possible and just go have some fun with it thanks guys for watching tune in next time to see whatever i'm getting into the zj build is going to start just being updates on what we're doing instead of just long drawn out boring build stuff so anyway that'll help me get it done faster and that way i can get on the f100 and then i can get on the mustang so thanks guys for watching and we'll catch you next time